Anyway, so there's a lady, uh, her name is Maggie. She lives in the house, just let us in. We're deep in the cut here. We had to drive through a lot of beat up roads, past a lot of uh, somewhat dilapidated housing to get here. Really nice lady. She said that no one's been out here to look at these cypresses in a long time. She knew exactly what we were talking about. And uh, yeah, she let us in, said just uh, don't trash the place, be respectful. And uh, this main wash is where uh, some of the first ones, the first cypresses, I guess, were spotted. Uh, I think Reed Moran found this one, and uh, I know Jeff Bisbee, Frank Callan, a couple other people have been here uh, in the last 20 years, and they were the ones that kind of never made it all the way up the mesa, but found the, uh, the few trees that look like junipers, but they're much more blue uh, growing on this arroyo. Anyway, so if you were to look at a topographic map, you'd see this little, basically, this is just a dead end. Uh, not a dead end, it's basically a little nook uh, surrounded on three-fourths of its sides by these mesas and then uh, there's this drainage that basically drains that way um, to the west, to the southwest. And right there you can see uh, there's pines in there but there's some cypresses too. And it looks like there was a forest fire uh, up there and some of the cypresses burned. But uh, the main population is right up on top of that, that mesa up there. Remember this tree from last time I was here. So here's a Capressus revilliana, Hesperocypris revilliana. Uh, they basically, the seeds transported via water in the arroyos. You can see also the, the rock is this strange uh, reddish, I mean, it almost looked, I thought it was a, some, some sort of granite, but the phenocrist in it looked pretty small. So uh, it's, a, it's a weird, Makes for a weird soil type. It's very bright red, very different from the rest of the stuff that we've been seeing in the Sierra Juarez further to the south. You can see there's this shrub oak, there's Adenosoma sparsifolium, Pinus quadrifolia, this manzanita. Pahoba, yucca, etc. Anyway, so it burned here, but it looks like the sparrow yucca and the yucca, actually the yucca's coming back, the sparrow yucca somehow survived, I don't, whatever. Then there's a, a calisthegia coming up, it looks like, and dicolostoma, no idea what that is. I saw the flower, it looked lamioid, and uh, you can see there's just cypresses dotting the little arroyo, and then it looks like uh, the fire kind of stopped right up there. It's still green. Look, the fire was so hot, it just caused pieces of these rocks to just plate off. Just kind of flake off like that. But it looks like it stopped over there, which is nice, because that's the main population of cypresses right up on top of that mesa. Yeah, we're trying to beat a rainstorm. Hopefully not get dumped on too bad, because it's coming. Alan found a new species of mushroom here. Tell me about what you find. It's in Copernopsis. It's but one it's, of the ones that if you drink alcohol, you get real sick. But it's undescribed? Well, and you it's, have to it's check not the known. literature. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you don't know of it. No. It's rare he doesn't know what a mushroom is. Look at this. It's nice. Looks like ash. Looks like tough. And it looks like those were all cypresses down there. Or at least mostly cypresses. Hey, look at that. It appears to be Quercus peninsularis. This guy's uh, pretty uh, pretty rare. He's endemic, I believe, to the Sierra Juarez. And uh, apparently they can respread from the base, like a lot of oaks can. I've been dreaming about this guy since i seen him two or three years ago. Beautiful oak. Gotta beat the rain, gotta beat the rain, gotta beat the... Oh, look at that. I'm gonna get so tired. I got a, I got a plastic bag. It's fine. Ooh, nice seriaginum, too. This is all Quercus peninsularis, it looks like. And then one other species, that kind of blue holly-leaved oak. So it burned, but they're all coming back. Just hope they keep getting enough precipitation in the winter. Anyway, so you can see the soil, it's all this, this red extrusive igneous rock. No phenocris. It kind of turns to clay when it's wet, but look at this, this weird dudley. Strange no dudley. Look at those red margins on those leaves. 
So a lot of stuff burned, but a lot of stuff is coming back. All the oaks are coming back. Two or three different species here. And uh, up here it didn't seem to burn too bad. Nice Nolina. That's coming. I gotta stop saying nice. Do I say nice too much? I think I do. It's gonna be covered in charcoal scars. Ooh, there's some cypresses right over there. Woo, this creek is running. It was up here two years ago and it was bone dry. But again, that was November. Looks good, the cypresses look good. Small, but what a weird landscape. This whole mesa is just this, this red extrusive igneous rock. Wish there were better geologic maps in Mexico. I'm dying to find out what's going on with this geology. Anyway, here's an old cypress. I wonder when that burned. And then, of course, here's all the little ones that came up beneath it. And, of course, you're only finding them along the creeks because water is the only thing that disperses the seed once the cones open. And the cones open after a fire, of course. Who knows when this one happened? Maybe 20, 30 years ago? The one that uh, these guys germinated from? Here we go, here's, here's some older trees. Look at that bark, it's so beautiful. Forbes Ei, Stephen Sony, Guadalupensis, and Reveliano, all got this beautiful bark. Oh yeah, Glabra too. And Arizonica, the one that gets planted out all the time. This tacky horticultural uh, suburban landscape. Actually, I guess the cypress isn't that bad. You know, if you're gonna go for obnoxious. Alan, here's a mushroom. Yeah, it seems to be a uh, a polypore of some sort. Anyway, here here we go. Here's some of the older trees. Create such a nice canopy. Very light. 